Welcome to our assembly about foods. We're filming this from St. Simon Campion Catholic Primary School in Maidenhead. As our mission statement says, we are a learning community celebrating Christ in all, building a kingdom of love, hope and joy. We are also an eco school and have been awarded green flag status and we work hard to look after our wonderful world. Today in this assembly, we're going to be thinking about food. We all need to eat. Food gives us what we need to grow, energy for exercising and for learning in special time with others as we share a meal together. What did you two have for breakfast this morning? I had cereal. I had toast. Martin Luther King said, before you finish eating breakfast in the morning, you've depended on more than half of the world. What do you think you meant by this? The UK only produces half the food we eat. Do you know where the rest of the food comes from? Most of the fruit that we eat come from other countries. Some of the people who grow our food miss out on breakfast themselves. Even though there is more than enough food, one in every ten people around the world go hungry each day. Let's find out more. Our world has more than enough food for everyone, yet one person in every ten is hungry. And these are often the people who grow the world's food. The way we grow and share food, our global food system, is broken. Will you step up to help mend it? Here are six broken pieces of our food system. People before profit. Our food system should feed everyone, but gradually big companies have gained control of it, making lots of money, while growing and sharing food in ways that speed up climate change and make people poor. Care for the climate. Our food system causes about a third of all greenhouse gas emissions. This speeds up climate change, making it harder to grow food. The climate crisis is made even worse by fertilizers made from fossil fuels. And when big food companies cut down rainforests to breed cattle or to grow crops like soya. Land rights. Most soya is sold to feed chickens, not people and the land is often taken from small farms. The farmers can no longer grow food to eat or sell. Variety of crops. Big companies demand large amounts of single crops because they are easier to export. But when the variety of crops reduces, nature is more vulnerable and diets become less healthy. Seeds. Some big companies buy the legal rights to popular seeds farmers have to buy them from the company. Often the seeds have been changed so that they are good for only one year and will only grow with the company's fertilizers and pesticides. Buying all of these every year drives people into poverty. Sustainable farming. Fertilizers can make crops grow faster and pesticides can lead to bigger harvests, at least in the first year or two. But as well as speeding up climate change, the chemicals in them can harm people and damage the soil. So, how can we help mend the broken food system? We can demand change. Many of you have called on our government to reduce climate change and put the world's poorest communities first. Now let's hold our leaders to their promises and make sure they support people around the world who grow food. Let's demand they step up to the plate and fix our broken food system. As we heard in the film, there are problems around the world with the way that food is grown and shares. We need to speak up and tell the government to keep its promises and help the poorest countries around the world. Let's meet some of our global neighbours who are dealing with some of these problems. Toma lives in Bangladesh. She loves to grow things in her garden, but because of climate change, storms and cyclones are more extreme, destroying the plants in her garden. People in Toma's area are working hard to find new ways to protect their crops from the weather. In Brazil, Raimundo, Kelly, the three children care for their environment on the edge of the Amazon rainforest. 
They grow food and plant trees. The land is under threat from others who want to take it away legally. In Cambodia, Long Tray Nam grows rice and vegetables which are used in the local cafe. Cafe trains people here in sustainable farming. This means using fewer seeds, less water and no chemicals, which is better for the earth. We also need to take better care of the earth when we produce food. Let's think about what Jesus said about food and sharing with others. in making the way we grow and share food fairer. We can reduce the amount of food we throw away. We can also care for the earth so that others are less affected by climate change. And we can step up to the plate and tell the government to keep its promises to help our brothers and sisters who are most in need. Decorate pigs to why you think the food system is unfair and tell the government what you want them to do about it. Then fill in the form online to say how many of you are stepping up to speak to the plate and speaking up for others. Why not share a picture of your plate on social media? Remember to tag us so we can share your work. Thank you. Last year, more than 50,000 of you told the government that the eyes of the world were on them as they made the decisions at the important climate meeting in Glasgow. They promised they would make changes to help the world's poorest people so together we can make a difference. Another way we can make a difference is by praying for a world where food is grown and shared fairly and where everyone has the chance to live life to the full. Let us pray. We pray for all the people who do not have enough food today and for an end to world hunger. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for world leaders. May they work to make sure that all people can have what they need to live life to the full. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for peace and an end to war. Shelter your children, guide us and protect us so we can build a world of love for all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
We pray for ourselves. May we be grateful for all that we have and be willing to share with others. May we work to build a brighter world together for all our global family. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Thank you for listening to our assembly today. We hope it's given you some food for thought and we can't wait to see how you step up to the plate. See you next time. Bye! Bye.